Our challenge as a team is most of us have never even had to deal with the sort of threats I'm talking about. That's existential warfare. RFX is about preparing for as best we can, given our fundamental challenge, which is we got to be ready enough to be relevant, but not so ready we can't keep good, meaningful civilian jobs and healthy, sustaining family lives. Okay, that's a tough bill. We're going to strike that balance. Not easy. But our challenge is to be relevant for this next fight. And it's critical that our soldiers understand the RFX is not about just amping up our readiness for some arbitrary reason and just acting like we think we're, you know, another battalion or brigade in the 82nd Airborne Division. That is not what it's about. I, I, I just looked at some, some draft comments that somebody wanted me to make to the Senate and the House next month. And one of the lines in there that I crossed right out with a big Sharpie. Those of you who know me, you know I usually use Sharpie, right? The big Sharpie. One of the lines was, RFX is the tip of the spear. No, it's not. No, it's not. RFX is not the tip of the spear. Everybody here is an RFX. Everybody here. Hell, every time I turn around, Bill Hamilton in the back there, he can say, hey, sir, we just added another this, that, the other thing to RFX because of this requirement, that requirement, this one. It's, it, hey, look, all it is, it's an aggregation strategy that focuses on what we got to do first to meet timelines. That's all it is. Seeing our readiness, understanding what it is, understanding the holes in our swing. Do we have holes in our swing? Yeah. Some of them, candidly, are not going to get resolved until we have involuntary mobilization authority. Okay, that's okay. We just got to know when we do get that authority, if it ever comes, if we ever need it to fight an existential threat, we need to be able to see now what we need to do then by identifying what needs to move where, what soldiers would need to move here, what units would have to go there, who goes to the MFJI platform, who's in the MSF, what do they do, where do they go, where's the training sets, la, 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 la. That saves months. But to just scope it for you, the magnitude of what we're talking about is over a third of the deployable strength of the entire Army Reserve having to go someplace to do something really, really hard in less than 100 days.